to all of you. Firstly, I'd like to welcome uh, Mr. Simone Trevisani, uh, you know, of the Drillmec SPA Italy. Thank you for choosing Telangana. Thank you for uh, coming over all the way. I know it's a tough time to travel. Thank you, Simone, for uh, taking the time out and coming all the way to India and coming all the way to Hyderabad and Telangana. Thank you to Mameshwar Edigaru. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for making this uh, happen in Telangana. I know the company has had received offers from multiple states and multiple countries, but I'm delighted that you chose Hyderabad. I'm delighted that you chose Telangana to set up your operations. Jayesh Ranjan Garu and uh, to Narsimha Reddy Garu, please uh, continue to do the good work that uh, you know, you've been doing for the last seven and a half years in making Telangana one of the most industrialized states in the country. And uh, to all the distinguished guests as well, I welcome you all. It's a great uh, occasion for us because on, uh, of a couple of reasons. One, this is a company that is basically um, an onshore and offshore rig manufacturing company, oil rig manufacturing company. Now, as you all know, Telangana is a landlocked state. We do not have a coastal line. We do not have a coastline. We do not really have a lot of uh, oil and gas reserves. Nothing has been discovered yet. Uh, so therefore, we are actually not a captive customer, per se, for Drillmec. We are not really, uh, uh, you know, there are not many customers in Telangana as such for a company like Drillmec. But the fact that they've chosen, you know, after Italy, after US, after Belarus, to set up shop in, uh, to set their unit in India, and among Indian states, even though they have had number of offers, number of invitations, the fact that they've chosen Hyderabad and Telangana is a telling comment on the ability and on, on the able governance you know, being rendered in the state of Telangana under the leadership of our Honorable Chief Minister, Sri K. C. R. Garu. In the last seven and a half years, under the leadership of our Honorable Chief Minister, not only have we been able to come out with uh, some really pioneering policies like TSI Pass, which continue to set, uh, you know, which continue to set new benchmarks for the industry, which continues to raise bar for the other states and other governments across the country, which also continues to ensure that Telangana remain on top on the ease of doing business rankings, you know, rankings given by Government of India and World Bank together. I'm very proud and pleased to welcome Drillmec, you know, because uh, they are going to invest, as was pointed out, about $200 million into setting up this uh, unit. It will be a manufacturing unit, as uh, Simone has explained. It will also have a research and development center. And they're also looking to establish a uh, high technology, you know, uh, new age, uh, you know, uh, uh, tech center, which will, which will work on hydrogen and other emerging technologies. I welcome them. And uh, I'm also told that uh, this center will possibly give gainful employment to nearly 2,500 youngsters. And I hope, and I, uh, you know, I'm confident that uh, with Uma Maheshwari Digaru and uh, Simone and the entire team, you know, leading from the front, majority of these, 80 to 90 percent of these employees you know, will be from the local area, from Telangana. Our local youngsters would get gainful employment. Now, as was also pointed out, they already have a billion uh, dollar order pending, so they want to start ASAP. I assure them from the government's side that we will hand over land and we will also ensure that you receive uh, some fiscal incentives to make manufacturing in Telangana, to make manufacturing in India very, very attractive. In fact, one of the things I'm very proud of, Hyderabad and Telangana initially, in fact, uh, we did not have many large, uh, you know, pure play manufacturing companies. But in the last seven and a half years, we've been able to attract many manufacturing companies. And I request, uh, uh, you know, Simone to possibly also look at bringing in your entire ecosystem of suppliers, of vendors, so that you can actually have them all around you, so that it becomes that much more easier for you to, you know, achieve uh, scale and achieve also efficiency. Now, the one thing I would like to point out to my friends from media is that um, while Telangana has been growing and Mel Telangana has made a name for itself as one of the most proactive, industry-friendly uh, states in the country, unfortunately, we have not received the support that a state like Telangana ought to get from Government of India. You know, we've been promised special incentives for industrialization to encourage 
industrialization to encourage more employment creation as part of the Andhra Pradesh Reorganization Act seven and a half years ago. Now, tomorrow, Government of India is set to present its next budget. I think this will be the eighth budget after the formation of Telangana. And we continue to wait, in spite of our numerous pleas, in spite of our numerous requests, we continue to wait on the delivery of the promise made to the people of Telangana and also Andhra Pradesh. Both states were made a promise that we would be getting special industrial incentives. None of that has materialized. In spite of that, of course, Telangana continues to grow. The other thing I also wanted to point out, we have been appealing to government of India that, you know, it can't just be good sloganeering, you know, just making a slogan, coming out with a slogan like Make in India won't just make it happen. You'll also have to back it with some reforms, with some solid policies, and which, you know, with infrastructure creation. As part of the vision of our Honorable Chief Minister, we are launching, in fact, we've launched India's largest textile park in Warangal, called as the Kakatiya Mega Textile Park. And we are also set to launch Hyderabad Pharma City, which will be the world's largest pharma cluster. With these two large manufacturing, uh, you know, destinations and manufacturing uh, activities, which will create a lot of employment, we have sought support from Government of India. Unfortunately, we have not received much response, much encouragement. Likewise, we have also sought creation of new industrial corridors. You know, six new industrial corridors have been requested by our Honorable Chief Minister, the Government of India, on several locations in the last seven and a half, eight years. Unfortunately, even that has not materialized. I hope and I pray that when the Government presents its budget tomorrow, because Honorable Prime Minister, you know, keeps espousing the Sabka Saath, Sabka Vikas Mantra. He says, you know, Team India, we have to carry every state along. But a progressive state like Telangana, which is the fourth largest contributor to Indian economy, if you continue to ignore us, if you continue to, you know, uh, overlook us just because of our ideological and political differences, it would be a great travesty, it would be a great tragedy, you know, in terms of promoting industrialization in the country, in terms of creating more employment, in terms of your role, make an India campaign, in terms of more, in, in terms of your role, uh, self-reliant Atma Nirbhar Bharat. So my humble appeal to the Honorable Prime Minister, to Honorable Finance Minister, is to please keep your promises, to keep the promises that you've made to the people of this country, to the people of Telangana, to the people of Andhra Pradesh, and to ensure that our children get more and more jobs by way of these, uh, you know, activities that can be promoted and propagated more effectively by progressive states like Telangana. So once again, I thank uh, Drill Mac, and I, I will also assure you, after having said that, I will also assure you, whether or not we receive support from Government of India, we will continue to grow, we will continue to do well, and we will continue to push the envelope. At the same time, we will also continue to raise our voice for justice, we will continue to raise our voice to demand what is rightfully ours. So once again, I thank you very much, uh, Simone and the entire team of Drill Mac, and to the entire team of uh, Mega Engineering who is here. Thank you for bringing this investment to Telangana. Thank you for choosing us. I look forward to you growing and partnering uh, with you as part of this journey. Thank you. Good day. Thank you so much, sir. The last line which you said, we will continue to grow, speaks a lot about your commitment towards industrial progress. Last but not the least, may I request Sri Umbeto.